Hi everyone, welcome to my bench again. Uh, new item, this is a PID controller. Um, I bought two of these, actually I bought one, got it in, when I knew it was good and liked it, I bought a second one. Um, I will put a link in the uh, comments where you can purchase this if you'd like to. Um, basically, uh, I was talking with a uh, Willie Bullet Man uh, and he uh, told me that his the parts list is around $120 or so for the parts to build this. Uh, and uh, I, I was just couldn't believe that nobody actually made these out there on the internet, uh, and you know that they were already out there, you know, pre-made at a, at a fair price. Well, I found these. Uh, this company is in Canada. Um, the item is $135 and is fully assembled. Um, it does, it's a nice little box. Uh, maybe they could have used a little better controller because uh, this doesn't have some of the features in the one that uh, Billy would, uh, Willie would make. Um, but it does what it's supposed to do. Uh, so basically, the one big difference that I liked about it is on the your on-off switch is right here and this is not just an on-off switch this is actually a circuit breaker so there are no fuses per se just a circuit breaker which will you know you don't have to buy fuses if it pops you just let it sit for a minute and reset it and you're on online ready to go um, the one thing that I didn't like about it is the uh, thermal couple is doesn't have a plug it's hardwired in which is not a big deal um, you could change this if you wanted to I looked inside you I'll open it up in a moment or you could put, pop this out put a connector here if you so choose to um, it has a two cords your input cord okay your AC cord and then your output cord where you'd pluck your pot into or your your toaster oven for that you want to use to, for whether you're using it for drying brass to control the temperature or if you're doing powder coating which I do as well. Um, this is the inside of the box. It's uh, nice. Um, the heat sink is plenty big so it will definitely handle the power. It doesn't even get warm the box to the touch. Um, and like you see inside you have enough room to add uh, the connector on the side if you, if you so wanted to. Um, and let's see, I can plug this in so we can turn it on just so you can see the display. I don't know how good it's going to come on in the camera. And uh, there you go. And uh, that's the box. Um, also, I want to put a shout out to Echo. Echo sent me some uh, SLP 2000 uh, gun oil. This is gun lube, as they call it. This will be great. Uh, I was running low on some oil, so this will be great to use. And um, that's it. It's just a short, short video, nothing special. Uh, the box does work well. I've been using it for a week now. One on my on my uh, casting pot, the Lee 20 pound pot, and I've been using it on my toaster oven to um, take care of the temperatures there. Uh, beware, though, your toaster oven. I was uh, playing with this, and I had set it to 400 degrees. Uh, and I found out that uh, the air temperature in the oven versus the contact temperature of the tray that I put my uh, bullets on the powder coat are two different animals. So beware a hanging thermometer in your oven may say 400 degrees but your bullet bullets may be at 500 degrees. Uh, and the only way I know this is because my old way of doing this was putting my uh, 
meat thermometer. It's not a meat thermometer. It's it's a, it's an external digital thermometer for cooking. Um, I actually place it across the the grill and lay the the tray on top of it. And when that reads 380 degrees, this is only reading. Uh, I forgot what it said when it came on. Uh, 300 and 20 degrees, 330 degrees. So there's a 70 degree temperature uh, difference between um, air measurement and contact measurement. So beware, your 400 degrees may be, may be just a little bit too hot for your bullets because on my, I only noticed this when I was playing with my 223 bullets, uh, casted bullets, because when I took them out of the silicone tray, they actually, the bottoms on the silicone tray actually melted a little of the, of the lead, melted slightly. Uh, and I was like profound with that information. Uh, so I put my probes, two different probes back into the oven and discovered that the tray was at like 500 degrees where this was saying 400, which is an air measurement temperature. So be careful of your temperatures in your ovens they actually may be higher than the thermometer says because your cast lead will absorb heat and it can become a higher temperature than the actual air temperature in the oven uh, so that that's something you need to know I wanted to show you oh no I put them away I can't get them that quick uh, I bought little silicone uh, ice cube trays, the mini ice cubes, they're like a quarter inch square and I find that excellent for doing uh, powder coating on my 223's uh, to stand them up in there, no problem uh, they don't, they this, the powder coating doesn't stick to the silicone, they come right out they come out beautiful, uh, one second I grab some of the bullets Um, I don't know, let's see. These are my 223 bullets. They're very hard to, they're so small, I don't know if you're gonna see this good on camera here. I need lighting better. But uh, these are my 223 bullets, powder coated. And I'm using powder by the pound powder coating. Uh, the Mira series, they have different series of, 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 prime, of powders. Uh, the Mira series is uh, the Mira series. The Mira series seems to work really, really well, uh, and the shake and bake method. Uh, very, very good coverage. Uh, less than a minute shake time, and the bullets are coming out beautiful. And I, all that too. I think it was uh, PC Bullet Man. Uh, he's the gentleman that uh, I saw an old video on with his green, lime green uh, powder coating and he had said that, that the uh, powder by the pound, the mirror finish was the stuff that worked great so I bought a few different colors. I've used them all, red, blue and the green and they all cover excellent. So my recommendation is to look at, into that powder coating, it's not cheap stuff but buy a pound check it out you might be surprised all right uh i think that brings this video to an end thank you